Okay, well, I've been doing YouTube videos for about three years now, and originally, the original videos I posted were just tutorials for a friend of mine, um, and the quality wasn't that great, although they do have probably the highest views of all my videos, and they were just basic shell commands for Linux or really any Unix system. Um, so I thought I'd go back to the basics. So all this week, pretty much every day, I'll put out a new video on some very basic uh, shell stuff. I'll be working in Bash, which is a very common uh, shell environment. But most of what I'm going to show you in these basics should work on any system uh, or any shell, as long as you have the right tools involved, because some of them are built into Bash and some of them are actual external programs, but very common. And uh, so I just wanted to do some of these with a slightly better quality than the one I recorded on my EPC with the built-in microphone three years ago. So here we go. Very basic uh, things when you're programming is you want to be able to print things to the screen and you want to be able to get user input. Both very easy to do. Print something to screen, we're going to use echo. And then inside quotations, we're going to write something like, hello world and we will hit enter and you can see it printed out hello world now to get a user input you would use the read command now if we just type in the word read and hit enter uh, this function here waits for some input so you can type on the keyboard and then when you hit enter it continues now we need to tell if we're getting a user input if we're going to tell uh, we need to tell read where we want to store the user input Otherwise, you can re use read as kind of like a pause, you know, press enter to continue. You can say that. So we could do, uh, and I should mention now, um, I'm going to be typing stuff up on here, the screen. If you're writing a script, which we'll get into later, uh, you probably put them on different lines. But you can divide commands up with a semicolon like that. So I can say echo hello semicolon echo world. And then when I hit enter, you see it ran the first command and then the second command. By default, echo puts a new line. In a future tutorial, we'll look at how to remove that new line if we wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say echo, what is your name? Inside quotations. And then I'm going to say semicolon. And I'm going to say read, which will wait for user input. And uh, we need to tell it where we want to store it. So we're going to give it a variable. Basically, a variable can be within reason, whatever you want. Try to avoid special characters and spaces. So just use regular words on your keyboard. I'll just call this one name. We'll hit enter. It says, what is your name? My name is Chris. I'll hit enter. And now my name is stored as a variable name. And I can actually echo that out by saying echo dollar sign name. And you can see it says uh, Chris there. So we can put all this together. I can say echo, what is your name? Semicolon, I can read name. And then I can say echo, hello, dollar sign name. So now when I hit enter, it will say, what is your name? I'll type in Chris. I will hit enter and it says, hello, Chris. Um, also, I kind of started mentioning it earlier. Once again, you can use the read command without a variable. So you can say something like echo. Uh, oh, OK. Let me say one other thing here. You can use the up and down arrows in most shell environments to uh, review your history. So if you type something and you want to use that again, you don't have to type it all again. So I can just hit up arrow to see my last command. So we got here uh, our last command of echo. What is your name? Question mark. And then we're using the read command. We know it's a new command because we have our semicolon here. We're setting uh, what the user types to a variable called name. Then we're saying echo the word hello and then we're saying this variable name and we know it's a variable because it has this dollar sign here so it'll print out hello and whatever name I put in my name Chris and then I'll say semicolon here and I will say echo press enter to 
continue semicolon and then read so now it will echo after it says hello Chris will say press uh, enter to continue and it will sit there and wait for the person to hit enter to continue so I'll hit enter what is your name Chris hello Chris press enter to continue I'll hit enter again and at that point it finishes the commands but if you had a script you probably would have stuff after that so uh, things once again just to review we learned about the echo command and the read command and in reality the read command can do some echo stuff so you wouldn't need to mess up your commands but I normally do so echo and in quotations what you want it to say it will print out that out read and then the variable that you're creating once again this can be within reason whatever you'd like just no spaces or special characters just leave it to uh, alphanumeric um, and then we'll say echo and we're saying hello and then we're using the variable once again we know it's a variable because we put the dollar sign at the beginning and then we're going to say echo please pr or press enter to continue and then we're using the read command to wait for the enter key and we divided up all these separate commands with a semicolon between each one so we know each one's a new command uh, that's it for this first tutorial very basic printing stuff out to the screen getting user input and then printing back out the input that they gave us so it's pretty much where you start at least I start with every programming language that uh, I've ever worked with printing stuff getting input saving it as a variable printing it out um, if you're very new at this watch the video again that's why these videos are great because you can watch them over and over again at your own speed uh, if you like this and you're looking for more advanced stuff once again I've been doing tutorials for three years now I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos um, some really advanced stuff my website is filmsbychris.com that's Chris with a K there should be a link in the description of this video and uh, as I said I'm doing pretty much all this week uh, I'm going to be doing basics of uh, shell uh, scripts or shell commands uh, in the terminal. Um, also, I've been doing videos these last couple of weeks on video editing from the command line. Uh, I still have a few more videos of that that I've already have done and I'm going to be doing. Uh, they just need to put them together and upload them. Uh, so that will continue next week. So if you're enjoying that, don't worry, that will be back next week. I just really wanted to come back to the basics uh, for this week. So lots of videos this week. Once again, I'm going to try to do like maybe one a day. So thanks for watching and have a great day.